Hi YouTubers, uh, I just got this power inverter Greek tie, uh, 300 watt and it says 300 watt but on the manual it says maximum 250 it's by Sun I temporarily hooked it up to make sure it won't catch fire or, or heat while I'm away I used a regular drop cable from two panels they're about 200 watts they're up on the, on the roof and I connected it through that cable to this box here and as you can see now it's uh, making 62 watts of cycle through volts 121 and amps is making half an amp and it's about nine in the morning I'll go to watts 62 watts see the little lights All right. what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect my uh, voltmeter and check the amp coming in so we'll see how efficient it is at this time yesterday you went all the way to 100 and 20 watts for like about an hour but I guess the panels were hot it was a hot day yesterday then it dropped to about 100 so let me connect the volt and amp meter okay we're at 63 watts the input amp from the panels 5 amps and each panel up there the two of them about 6 amps 100 watts and the voltage reading connected to the grid ties 14.1 all right now I'm going to disconnect the input cables that come from the panels and check the voltage reading of the panels okay I couldn't uh, disconnected the solar panels and voltmeter is reading the current volt coming in from the panels it's about 20 volts and the amperage that this system is drawing about 0.2 amps I'm gonna reconnect the the inverter and see what happens again okay the inverter is connected but it's in off position we still have 20 point volts and 0.2 amps drawn I'm gonna turn the power strip on and see what happens doing 121 volts check the amps so making half an amp 
while sucking in 5.4 five and a half amps and it's cycling so it tells you how efficient these are not efficient the voltage is about 14 so you have about 6 volts drop we still have at half an amp check the watts and he's making 65 watts so divide that by 120 tells you how much power is making it comes to the half an amp Right now I don't have a direct sun on my panels. Still early. Maybe around noon time. It'll go up. It's not getting any hot or warm. Yesterday at noon time it would cycle off and on. The fan would cycle off and on and it was pretty cool. It wasn't even warm so I think the 200 watt input is enough for this little machine let's check the spec sheet that I have it I hope you can read it this model Sun 300 AC output power 270 watts yeah I like to see that Maximum AC output power 300 watt. AC output 190 to 260. And if you switch it to 115 volts, 90 to 130. The frequency range and input voltage. 11 volts to 30 volts ninety two percent efficient I would say maybe forty percent and all the other blah 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 they put over there Check it again. I know this cable is not an efficient cable. I'm just testing the the inverter. I want to make sure you won't overheat or catch on fire. I travel a lot, so right now it's providing. 66 watts it's like you eliminated a 60 watt light bulb in your house that's how much power is bringing in the voltage is still about four, 14 volts same amperage I do have some power loss on this cable it will be replaced once I make sure this is safe to operate and I'm pretty sure there'll be a little more amps and bolts coming in but right now we're inching up little by little Yeah, I thought I'd share this with you. 
and uh, once I uh, find a permanent location and hook it up with the proper cables, wires, I'll make another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.